hello friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution uh, today in this video we are going to start a very important topic in industrial automation so today's our topic is uh, electrical drives or variable frequency drives so drive is the most essential equipment in uh, uh, controlling of the motors uh, speed torque applications so now we'll see in details first we'll see the definition the system which controls the motion of electrical machines or motors so that system knows known as electrical drives or variable frequency drive so ultimately we are changing the uh, frequency and we are varying the frequency and based on that uh, we are controlling speed torque or motion uh, for uh, electrical machines or electrical motors so in market we have two types of drive ac drive and dc drive based on uh, motor type so here you can see uh, here we have AC drive and uh, this this is the AC drive and which uh, there are three modules are coming a power module control module and IOP that we'll see in uh, next slide and here we have connected a uh, motor induction motor with this AC drive and uh, these are the digital uh, inputs so we can connect with this uh, control unit and we can control based on application these are the uh, analog input port and we can change the speed or torque uh, with this analog set point and uh, here we have DC drive and uh, we can connect DC motors we can uh, connect uh, digital inputs also and you can see here uh, we have uh, basic operating panel and with BOP operations uh, we can change speed torque and uh, many start stop method uh, uh, with this motor now we'll see the applications of drive so mostly in uh, all machines where AC or DC motors are used in that case uh, we need to control sp speed torque or motion so for all uh, machines we are using drives so in spinning machines uh, convertible systems uh, in convert uh, we, are, we are changing speed and torque also in pump agitators extruders then uh, draw lines blower application uh, woolen textile industries for motion control crane application and winding and unwinding application and there are thousands of applications uh, in which we are using uh, drives then we'll see the features of drive so based on uh, drive uh, model and make uh, different features are available so here uh, we have listed some features uh, for Siemens uh, AC drive so this automatic restart will be uh, activated when power failure is there flying restart uh, can be used when there is connection of inverter uh, motor running then eco mode operation motor staking uh, for the closed loop control system then integrated PID control so we can uh, use the closed loop control system uh, with uh, different variable pressure temperature or flow and uh, extended emergency mode can be activated uh, in the case of uh, event of fire so in that case this uh, emergency mode can be activated multi-zone controller also used in closed loop control system that we'll see in detail uh, while we'll see uh, detail operation of the drives bypass mode so when there is a set point change or a fold occur so in that case uh, change over to line operations uh, can be done with this bypass mode we can also make quick commissioning uh, with intelligence operating panel or basic operating panel so in short time uh, we can make commissioning uh, for this drive that we'll see in the next video now we'll see the units of uh, drives so generally uh, every drive, ha drive has three types of unit uh, power unit control unit and operating uh, unit so here you can see uh, we have Siemens make G120 series AC drive so this all pictures are uh, for Siemens AC drive the first first picture is uh, for power unit and uh, this is control unit and last we have operating panel so this is intelligence intelligence operating panel so every uh, unit will see in detail next slide first of all see the power module or power unit so power module is actually uh, working as an uh, inverter which is converting uh, AC to uh, DC supply and in this power module uh, we have connected IGBT 
so with the help of this pulse width uh, modulation it uh, it's changing the frequency of the source and finally uh, we are changing uh, this frequency and uh, we are changing this motion uh, speed on tor torque this power module also uh, protecting uh, the motor with power protection then we have control unit so the control unit is controls and monitors the power modules and uh, connector motor so here we can uh, use this closed loop control system so uh, it's also supporting different communication protocol like uh, profibus industrial ethernet and modbus protocol based on drive type and model uh, different communication protocols can be supported here uh, we can see in siemens drive we have profibus dp port and uh, in downside we have uh, industrial ethernet or profinet so we can connect uh, uh, this drive with uh, other uh, hmi panel or any operating panel or any industrial device which can be supported with this profinet we can also take this drive into uh, profibus and these are the uh, digital and uh, digital uh, inputs which are coming uh, from the field area so we can also monitor uh, the equipment and uh, enables the connection of process related external component like sensor and actuators so we can connect uh, this digital and analog input output for controlling and uh, monitoring the process variables then operating unit so there are basically two types of operating unit or operating panel is uh, first one is basic operating panel and uh, intelligence operating panel so right now this picture is uh, for intelligence operating panel so iop operates, uh, operating panel supports user friendly local commissioning so in very short time you can make commissioning and uh, you can control or uh, diagnose enable uh, the complete inverter data set and you can save the data in uh, drive in short time you can see here uh, there are different uh, buttons given so from this button you can uh, insert the parameterization and data and you can save into in this memory so uh, for the Siemens series we are just asking uh, so the Siemens series you can uh, save the data into memory card semantic memory card and then uh, that you can use in uh, other drive also then we'll see the commissioning of drive so uh, first we'll see what is commissioning so it's a process to load and verify the related data of motor like current voltage power factor speed uh, frequency or rpm so they, uh, this type of data uh, we are entering based on the motor and uh, we are commissioning uh, the drive first you can uh, make commissioning uh, manually uh, with this operating panel basic or intelligence operating panel and uh, you can also connect any pc software uh, with this drive and uh, from the pc software remotely you can make parameterization or uh, commissioning so in next video we will see how to commissioning uh, the siemens g120 ac drive with intelligence operating panel and uh, from the starter software mm -hmm.